and it is Kevin Jackwitz here with the Cage Review. And I wanted to bring up something that has been happening with the WWE lately, and it's something that's been quite a hot topic. And it is is WWE going back to the Divas division. And I don't mean literally like in their programming, I mean, are they going back to using these talentless girls that are literally there for no more reason than they look cute? And they have zero credibility to their in-ring talent. Um, I, I've, I've been very vocal about this lately because I think they have been. I think WWE is literally reverting back to the Divas division where you have a bunch of wrestlers in the women's division that can't wrestle. They can't perform at the caliber level of Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, Naomi, Asuka, all these very good, incredibly talented wrestlers. And they're using the likes of Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Carmella is a SmackDown Women's Champion, and Carmella has zero in-ring talent. There's been a lot of people that really like her, and a lot of people that really don't. And there are the very few people like me who are kind of offended that she's the women's champion. And here's the reason why. You have women that bust their ass day in, day out, to refine their craft, to get better at their performance in the ring. And they work very hard at it, and they try to learn new moves and do special things for the audience. Whereas Carmella has, I have not seen her do one technical move in one match ever. I have not seen her do one high-flying move in one match ever. And it's fine to not be a wrestler, but to be the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion and not be a wrestler, I find insulting to every woman who has done their job to get good. And people are going to say, well, who are you to judge her wrestling acumen? Why don't you get in the ring and try to be a wrestler? And my response is going to be very simply, I haven't trained to be a wrestler, that's why I'm not a wrestler. It's sure as hell why I'm not sitting here wearing the WWE Universal or WWE Championship. You see, people that don't practice for a certain thing, they tend not to get that. Um, and plus, I have health issues, so even if I wanted to be a wrestler, which I don't because it plays hell on your body, I wouldn't be able to just based on that. I guarantee you, after my physical, the doctor would be like, sorry, dude, there's no way we're letting you in a ring. So there's that, too. And the point of that, like I said, is that I'm not a wrestler. I'm not in WWE, and I'm sure as hell not their champion. I am not the one that they have put their stamp of approval on and said, this is who we're going to back. People forget what wrestling used to be. In wrestling in the 90s, you had so many people that were amazingly talented. Even the mid-carters back then would be top guys today. As a matter of fact, a couple of them mid-carters were top guys. Christian was a world champion. He was a mid-carter. Look at Chris Jericho. He's sought after now. CM Punk was a staple of a few years back. And these were all mid-card guys back then. Guys that you didn't really look at too much. The state of WWE has changed. The product has changed. The product changed drastically when it went PG. But something else happened in there too where for a time they wanted to cash in on this whole Divas thing. They wanted to bring in these girls that were really beautiful but I had no idea how to put on an entertaining match. And it just, it got such a bad reputation with the Divas division because the likes of the Bella Twins. And I have to say this, in all honesty, as much heat as the Bella Twins got for not being wrestlers and as much shit as they took 
for not being able to put on a match, Nikki Bella is a better wrestler than Carmella is right now. That says a hell of a lot. Um, there's a couple of girls that are trying their hearts out and they're trying to get better. One of them being Carmella, the other being uh, Lana. And I'll be honest, I honestly think in that match, there was a match with the Mixed Match Challenge with her and Rusev, where I feel like Lana is a better wrestler than Carmella. That is saying something, people. And Carmella is the woman's champion. And WWE have this thing now where the conversation's all about Carmella, and they're going to keep the title on her because they're like, Using it as heel heat, but it's not heel heat. It's we want to turn the fucking TV off heat. It's we don't love to hate her. We just don't want to see her as a champion. Period. And anything I say is not personal. I don't say things to be malicious or mean-spirited. I'm just stating facts, and I'm saying them very directly because... I think as a fan, and not just a fan, not just a fan that like, you know, goes and watches Monday Night Raw and SmackDown. No, I'm a fan that buys the merchandise of the people I like. I am the fan that goes to the shows. I am the fan that puts a lot of money into the product that I care about. And honestly, for that reason, you know, people ask, well, you know, how can you judge? Well, by that standard alone, it's WWE entertainment. And if they're putting out a product that's not entertaining, they're failing in their mission. And they're going to lose fans, which means they're going to lose income. And I know they're not going to lose that many fans because there's always going to be the diehards that are just there. They're just there and they're going to watch no matter what. And that's fine. That's them. I want to watch a good, entertaining product. And, you know, back in like 2010, 11, 12, whatever it was, like, WWE really went through a slump where I was not impressed with virtually anything that they did. And it, it seems like they've come out of that slump lately. They, they're kind of getting in these new guys that have a lot of new life into the product. Um, they brought in, you know, Samoa Joe, Shinsuke, uh, AJ Styles, um, and the women's division has exploded with the likes of Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch and Asuka and uh, Charlotte. And I'm really, I just, I really like the direction they were going for a while. But now, at least with the women's division, they have taken about 10 steps backwards. Because now you're introducing Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, who are Bella Twins 2.0. They're annoying as hell and childish in the ring with their promos, and they can't fucking wrestle. You have Carmella, who is not just um, really bad in the ring. I could forgive that if, you know, she was kind of cool with her fans. But she's sitting there like taking time out of her day to talk shit to her people on Twitter who don't like her work. Well, I'm sorry, if you don't want people talking shit about your work, get better. And that's really what it comes down to. And so I actually put out a tweet, and um, it, it was to the extent that you're not a wrestler at all. I think it's a disrespect to the other women busting their ass. And maybe if you took the time to refine your craft, people would take you more seriously. Her response, she actually responded, was maybe if you change your profile picture, people will take you more seriously. So instead of arguing common sense with common sense, you're just going to take a low blow to somebody you don't even know about their face. Honey, let me tell you something. My face is my face. I was born with it. There ain't a damn thing I can do about it. Good, bad, or indifferent. No matter what you think, this is what I was born with. You have the ability to train, to learn, and you're not doing it. So no matter what you say about how I look, you still suck in the ring. 
And there ain't a damn thing that's going to change that except your motivation level. So let that sink in for a little bit before you start talking shit about somebody because honestly, you're not that cute yourself. You look like a twig with fucking moose lips. Look like your face got caught in a vacuum accident. So don't tell me I need to change my profile picture. Um, but the funny thing is, is I'm not the only one that she was making comments to like that. And it's like, we are the fan base. We are the money of the product. We are the people who put the money down for you to sit there and talk shit to. It, like I said, if you don't want people saying you suck in the ring and you don't want the SmackDown crowds chanting you can't wrestle like they have for the past two weeks in a row, then guess what? You probably need to change something. I really don't like where the women's division has gone lately. You had this amazing, amazing influx of just great female wrestlers like three, four years ago had a lot of really great feuds and of course you have to keep moving forward you have to keep introducing new fresh faces uh, new rivalries all of that I get that but the women's championship is not a position to learn your craft the women's the women's championship is a position for somebody who has made it or who has at least enough potential to carry this that You, you, giving it to Carmella is like, oh my God. It's like pitting somebody in their first day of white belt training for martial arts up against Brock Lesnar. You just don't do it, man. Like, I... I don't understand the fascination with Carmella anyway. I don't. She's very, uh, like I said, juvenile in my opinion. Like she acts like a kid. And I understand I'm 40 years old and you know, she's a bit younger than me. Okay, I get that. But there's plenty of girls, young, that don't act like an idiot. Look at Paige when she came in. She came in younger than Carmella and set fire to a women's division that was the Divas division at the time. And she didn't act like she was an immature idiot. So there's proof that it can be done. And be done not only getting over with the young crowd, but getting over with the wrestling fans. You know, the old school guys like me who still want a product to be good and entertaining. Paige came in and killed it. So why is it that this girl comes in and there's this huge conversation about her now because I don't, I just, I don't know. I have no idea why WWE is backing her right now. There's not heel heat. There's, I, want, I have literally turned my TV off at her matches. Just turned it off. Because I didn't care. I didn't want to see it. Or I was disgusted after the match, so I just turned it off anyway. That's what you're getting, WWE. You're getting click. Maybe if you get enough click, you'll change your minds. If people start doing the right thing and, you know, just, just turning off the TV once she's around, you'll get the point. But... As long as there is somebody that has a title position that is this undeserving, I'm going to speak out about it as a fan. I will. I have no uh, compunctions about speaking my mind. And if people don't like it, I don't care. I want the product I watch to be entertaining. I want it to be good. I want people to get into wrestling. can't do it like this. You just can't. So ladies and gentlemen, I know I'm ranting, that's what the title is, but this is truly going back to a Divas division that I did not like 
and it was one of the main reasons why at one point in my uh, fandom that I was literally thinking about just not watching wrestling anymore because it was at that point where there was a lot of wrestlers who were not very good. And um, the ones that were good, they weren't utilizing. And at this point, it's like they kind of seem to be going along the same path in a lot of ways. Um, they're not dealing with the guys, thankfully, the same way, I don't think. I think that there are a lot of very talented guys that are getting a lot of attention and being in the right spots. Brock Lesnar is Brock Lesnar. Say what you will about him, he's an attraction. AJ Styles, no pun intended, is absolutely phenomenal in the ring. That guy is magic. Uh, you know, you've got the Kevin Owens, the Sami Zayn's with good storylines. You got Seth Rollins as the Intercontinental Champion. You got Jeff Hardy as the U.S. Champion right now. So I mean, you have all these guys that are really, really good as champions, and then you have Carmella. I'm not a fan, and I'm not going to be a fan. Uh, both. Women's Division Championship matches at Backlash got boos. Nia Jax got booed out of the ring. And Nia Jax, I don't even think it was such a bad match yesterday, but as a general rule, um, I'm not the biggest fan of Nia Jax for much the same reason. She's not incredibly talented in the ring. She's out of position a lot. She gets tired very easily. When she gets tired and winded, she gets sloppy. And she I, I can count on both hands at least a number of times that I've seen her look like she was about to really hurt somebody in the ring because either she couldn't control them or she was just out of place. Um, and nothing I say, again, is a personal knock. Nia Jax actually genuinely comes across like a really fun person and one of the sweetest people on the planet from what I've seen on the outside looking in. I don't know these people, I'm not in their personal lives, but she seems like a sweet person. But just because she seems like a sweet person doesn't mean I want to see her as champion. Carmella does not seem as sweet a person and sure as hell cannot wrestle, and I definitely don't want to see her as champion. So I hope that she sees this and I hope she responds because come with it. I'm a 40 year old guy with a health issue. I don't define myself by the number of followers I have on anything. Contrary to popular belief, that really doesn't mean a damn thing. People can be like, hey, I got 100,000 followers. I don't give a fuck, I don't know one of them. Now, do I like to have followers and share my thoughts and share my love of whatever it is? Of course I do. It's fun to share your love of music and movies and wrestling and comics. I love that. Because that's what I love. That's, that's what I'm into. But at the end of the day, it's not going to affect me. Say what you will about my face, that's not going to affect me. It sure as hell not going to affect my career. You, my dear Carmella, your wrestling ability at some point, hopefully, will affect your career. So that's some food for thought. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe and share. My name is Kevin Chakowitz, Cage Nation out. Thank <laughs> you.